Hey guys, well, welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today just to share the test that I made with this wireless charger. Really simple design as you can see right here on the image. This is the top and this is the bottom just with a few uh, specifications right over here. Inside the package we'll find two cables, USB type A to USB type C and also a USB type C to USB type C. And if you ask me here, Robert, haven't you used that cables? No, I haven't. I've used my own on another power adapter and the results that I got were simple. This is capable of charging in three ways. For any device that has wireless charging it will do 5 watts. For a iPhone 11, 11 Pro, Max and so on and so forth it will do 7.5 watts and then for a few Samsung devices that are posted on screen uh, it will do 10 watts. And I know that you have a Samsung and you are watching okay Robert once again Samsung but uh, well that's all okay. It's really simple to use and I will use this power bank here just to show off although that I believe that the power delivery will not be the same as it is uh, charging with the cable on a power adapter but I don't know if you saw a green light yeah we can see right over here and if we can't what I will do I'll just shoot a b-roll so that you can see the green light that will stay on for a while and then it will turn off but it will keep on charging. Now in terms of results what I can say is that for the iPhone 11 Pro what I got was in one hour and 17 minutes roughly 38% of charging which is not bad at all so that means that for every single hour it will charge roughly 32% so for a full charge roughly three hours and something which is roughly half of the power that we get from well not roughly a little bit less than half of the power that we get with the original uh, iPhone 11 Pro power adapter which will take less. So my opinion is that if you are in a rush to charge then this is probably not the best solution but I do believe that it's acceptable and if we are in a situation like this that I'm listening to music I'm doing whatever and I've just placed my phone on the top of the charger then it will keep on charging which is great and then I just have to grab it and move on and that will be just fine. On the other hand I do see some cars for example that do not have the latest technology and if we want to place something like this on a car it's also a great solution in my opinion of course uh, that we can just place our phone and while we are driving it will be charging which is great and that is it guys the results that I do have are these if you have an iPhone 11 Pro then you will have the full results if you have any other device that will charge at 5 watts then you will have to do the calculations for yourself if you have a Samsung from those that we saw on screen then you will have to do the calculations from yourself as well but it will be faster than the iPhone obviously and that is it hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up i will leave a link down below for the device i was forgetting about that so that you can check prices and specifications but this is roughly 13 dollars 13 euros something like that and that is it a huge thumbs up to that side of the screen if the video was helpful don't forget to leave that thumbs up as well my name is roberto george as always i'll see you guys on the next one